recording. There's someone else, uh, Shoko, I think his name was, he's recording it as well. So if I fuck this up again, then it's, it's all okay because we've got people recording it, even though I really screwed it up last time. Um, cool, 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 cool. We're in. Okay, the topic of conversation for today. Now, I fucked up the time zones, so we're going to have two AMAs. There's one today and there's one tomorrow. Today is going to be a bit more of a chill one. Um, I'm not going to go over the whole thing I had planned, but what we are going to go over is product research. We're going to do product research because I think that is something everyone wants to do. And everyone's always asking me what I do for product research. It's pretty simple. It's just Facebook ads library. And what we can do while we're doing product research is look at their creatives and analyze them, see how we could improve them. And then if we find a product we want to test, I'll talk to you guys about what the next steps would be regarding creative because creative is the most important thing these days like your strategy doesn't really matter as much so yeah that is the plan for today does that sound good for everyone yes perfect awesome 25 people in here that's really good i haven't even put an announcement i think we'll just keep it like this quite i quite like it when it's more intimate um so yeah if there's anything anyone else wants to add to the agenda just type it in chat and we can go over that as well like if there's anything you want me to go over more than happy to do that i might even upload this one to youtube as well Yeah, sorry about screwing up the time zones as well, because I thought it was going to be 8 a.m. today for me, but it turns out it's tomorrow, which is a bit annoying. But yeah, if any, if no one else has anything we want to cover, then we'll go ahead and go straight into it. Can you tell your success stories before you begin with the presentation? My success stories, what, like winning products, like winning stores? Is that what you mean? Because yeah, I can go over that. How's the brand is going? Yeah, the brands are going really well. So I've got a brand launching tomorrow or tonight. I need to get everything ready for that. And then I've got another brand, which I just got a load of content in for. Like these guys, I paid this agency 2000 pounds for what I thought was gonna be like six videos and 20 high quality photos for the website. It turns out they've completely over delivered. They've added, there's like hundreds of videos, which is awesome because I can go and put those into different clips, make loads of different ads, use loads of different angles, which is amazing. And it's already a proven product. So yeah, the brands are going really well. And I've got some killer creatives for this other brand that I'm doing. So yeah, I'm really excited about that. I'm really, really excited about that. Um, all right, I guess we'll just do some Q&A for like the first five, 10 minutes. Uh, I have a question about CBO versus ABO campaigns. Whenever I try to scale on CBO, it doesn't work well at all. But whenever I'm increasing the budget on my ABO, it's get good purchases. Okay, so with Facebook, you're basically just trying to figure out what works because it's not like a cut and paste thing as in everything works the same for every ad account and every product. I've had products that only scale on ABO and I've had products that only scale on CBO. Now, most of the time, it's CBO. CBO works the best and it's the most consistent. But if you find that your CBO campaigns are not working, just do ABO. Like you don't, it doesn't have to be CBO. Uh, a really good ABO strat that I've used is a simple just campaign with five ad sets and you have, um, I, I don't know, like hundred pounds a day. So you'll be spending 500 pounds. You're not actually gonna spend that. But then what you do is the first one that gets a sale, right? So you're spending 500 and then they'll spend what, 50 total. Um, and then the first one to get a sale, you turn off all the other ones and then that is your winning ad set. And then you just go after that. That's a really good strategy. I'm pretty sure it's in the PDF. So yeah. Josh, do you use VSLs on your creative? What does VSLs mean? VSL. Um, might need to Google that. I should know that. That sounds like some sort of term that I should know. Video sales letter. Oh, is that like those five minute long videos? Yeah, okay. I, I've, I'm testing some out because there's not, I don't test many products that require VSLs, but I've seen um, some really, like I've seen, obviously they work, like Ace Mend, 
they have like 1200 ads and they're all VSLs so and they obviously work really well because they're making a lot of money yeah normally all people right thanks CJ um, it's a good point they only really work for people that are like 40 plus because who you know we're the young people out here we're not going to watch a five minute video our attention spans are fucked so man I'd love to see what his video views are like what their retention is because it just blows my mind that you can run a five minute long ad and it actually works it's crazy to me um what agency I guess yeah I mean I guess I could share it I guess I could share it I will share it if you guys want it then you can message me privately I'm not gonna go put it out there um plus I haven't got the content yet so I think I'm getting it today by email um they're based in actually I'm not gonna say where they're based but yeah they're really good what are your margins after taxes I'm not gonna comment on taxes especially since this is recorded and going on YouTube um what do you do when a product bro what do you do when a product don't have too much content available I have a potential winner but don't have too much content um, make it work as best you can make as many ads as you can using the content available try and make some money and if you can make money then go and get your own content because getting your own content you know you can do a full analysis of your customer and you can find out exactly what angles are working what they're actually what they actually care about and then you can just write your own ads that will crush so if it's a potential winner then you could maybe do it from the beginning but um do the best you can with the content you have try and make money and then go and invest in your own content as a beginner should i do meta or tiktok ads i only do meta ads because they're my favorite they work the best and i've just never done tiktok which is kind of probably stupid on my part. I should, but I just haven't. Um, this one going to be about product research or creatives? Both, because we're going to do product research on Facebook Ads Library and we can analyze creatives along the way. Uh, do you run ads on Instagram uh, to through meta ads? Yeah, I mean, it's like everything, right? You just do automatic placements and then they Facebook just does it how they want to do it. I've been on the Discord for like two months and everything. I didn't make any new shops or anything about dropshipping because I didn't have money to spend on it. Now I'm ready to start dropshipping again. Is there any big different strats you're using now? Or is it still the same? Um, there's nothing, in terms of strategy, it's all the same. Like in terms of, pardon me, Facebook, and stuff like that. What I would recommend is you go deep on your customer. I would spend way more time thinking about who is your customer, go into their angles, go into their pain points, do loads of research, go on Reddit, um, watch YouTube videos of people talking about their problem and then you can make a product page you can make ads that directly go into and solve their problems right that is what I'd recommend that is what I'm doing I'm spending way too much way way more time in the beginning phase instead of just like putting out shit and expecting it to work bit off topic here but where do you normally find private suppliers for products are you testing out any Indonesian ones no never gonna test out Indonesian ones because they don't have the infrastructure um, I have a private supplier. If you guys want it, more than happy to hook you up because he is amazing. He is honestly the best and he sent me a present for Christmas, so I love him. Um, I'm a newbie to dropshipping. Well, you're in the right place then, my friend. Um, also, what is your opinion on Snapchat ads? I've tried them. I never got them to work, but I know people crush with them because there's not much competition. It's all about creative. Obviously, it's a different style of creative and Snapchat's kind of different to Facebook and stuff but it's like it's such a simple layout I've never been able to get them to work but I know that people make a lot of money for it it seems like the f uh, formula to succeed with pro with drop shipping is problem solving products plus decent branded website plus social proof customers is recommended budget to get started yeah pretty much I mean the the it doesn't have to be a problem solving product it just has to be a good product that people actually want uh, decent branded website like in the beginning the ads are the only thing that really matters you're Everything else doesn't really matter because if you're not getting people to your website, then it doesn't even, doesn't even matter. Because if, you, if you're not getting your target cost per click, it doesn't matter anyway, right? It doesn't matter how good your website or how bad your website is. If you're getting a terrible cost per click, well, that's where you got to start. Um, what do you recommend budget to get started? I started with like one to two K in pounds, which is like what, three K USD. I'd recommend that. That's a good sweet spot where you've got cash flow and you can still scale. What's up, Danny? Um, is Q1 good for drop shipping compared to other Qs? Yeah, a Q1 last for 2023 was actually my most, one of the biggest quarters. I think I did like 
200k. So yeah, Q1 is good. I think like January, February, like March, April is really good. How do you handle Chinese New Year? Now my supplier, like he's got the connections. So he's told me exactly when the factories are closing down and he says that he can still ship. I think he said there's like a couple days where he can't ship. Like they work, my supplier works fucking hard. So I'm not even worried about it. But if you're using people like CJ Dropshipping, then what you can do is, I did this last year, you can get, you can like pre-order stock. And I think you only pay a 30% deposit and then once everything sold, then you pay the rest. So if you're using CJ Dropshipping, that's a really good option. What's the least amount of money you can start with e-com? I'd say like £1,000, $1,000. It depends because in the beginning, you're probably not going to hit a winner, so it doesn't really matter. Um, so you can still kind of, you know, it doesn't actually matter because you're not going to hit a winner, so you can just kind of spend money. Like, that's what it is. You're just spending money trying to do, um, trying to get those results. But if you're worried about cash flow, I'd recommend one to £2,000. Uh, is broad still king? Broad is always king, but creative is king. We might have to change it. Creative is king, but broad is obviously king. Um, creative and broad, king and queens of Facebook ads. Can you guys hear him? Yes, oh, I hope not having any more problems. Uh, what do you guys think is a good CPC to scale? And how do you lower CPC, better creatives? So it depends, right? Let's say you're selling a product for $30, right? Um, and you, you're aiming, you have a 3% conversion rate, you know, and your profit margin is $20, you know that you need to make, um, for every, every, let's say you had a one pound cost per click, $1 cost per click, you know that every 20 people that visit your website, you have to make a sale to break even, which means you need a 5% conversion rate. And then if you halve your conversion rate, so if you halve your cost per click, then you can, you have a lot more room in your conversion. Um, so how do you better it? Yeah, better creatives, better angles. There's so much that goes into a creative and cost per click. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Are you still offering mentoring? Uh, not really. I don't really have time for it. Um, you know, like my goals for 2024 do not revolve around making money through Discord. E-commerce is my main passion. So not really. If you, I'm still doing one-on-one -on -one calls every now and again if I have time, but my time is super limited at the minute. So yeah, not really, not really. Um, I don't have a 1K to get started. So would you have a decent to get started? Don't have 1K. You can just start, like you need like $200 and you can like try it. And then it's pretty unlikely that you're gonna hit it straight away. So you can just do that and then learn. But I'd recommend getting a job, keep your expenses low, save up as much money as you can. How can we optimize conversion rate? Look where the drop-offs in your funnel. If you're getting loads of add to carts with no conversions, then where is that add to cart button taking them? Have you got bad website speed? You know, there's loads of things you can look at. I'll just recommend watching the YouTube video. Um, when starting out, do you recommend all I do is store setup and research myself or just pay a professional to do it? No, you want to do it all yourself because then if it goes well, you're going to have no idea why it went well and then you're lost, you know. Getting clicks but low add to carts, any tips? Um, check your website speed. Oh, I mean, there's loads of things you can do. Do a full analysis of your funnel. Increase your offer. Make a better offer. Um, it might be your price. Your price might be bad. That sort of stuff. Where do taxes come into play when scaling? I mean, scaling's got nothing to do with taxes, but uh, I, I can't really comment on taxes, to be honest. Because this is going on YouTube, so I don't want to, yeah. Nothing I say on here, by the way, is financial advice. I just want to put that out there. Okay, I'm going to answer three more questions, and then we're going to go into the go into what we want to do because I actually want to do product research. When starting out, how much do you spend on the first day testing CBO creatives? Um, if I'm selling a product for like a hundred dollars, I'm going to use probably I'll probably spend like two hundred, three hundred the first day. Uh, some tips for abandoned checkouts. Tips for abandoned checkouts. I don't know. Maybe you could email your customers. I don't know, that's a really difficult one. Um, abandoned checkouts. Obviously check your funnel, but I'm assuming you've already done that. Uh, what else could you do? Check out emails. Maybe you're getting, maybe you've got a bad offer. Maybe your shipping settings are bad. I don't know if you've got free shipping, stuff like that. Honestly, there's not a lot you can do um, if you're getting abandoned checkouts, apart from those things mentioned. Low cost per, okay, last question. Low cost per add to cart, but high CPA. What would you do? I would 
put something in between. Maybe you can get an app, which is like a like a countdown or something that like makes people know that they have to check out right now. Um, something like that. I don't know. I'll just do a full do a full analysis. Um, okay. All right. That's the last question because we could go all day. Um, cool. All right. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to do product research because I know that's something that you guys want. Plus, it's also something that I want to do. And then we can go into creatives and it's all going to be kind of like a good thing that's going to work. So, okay. All right. I'm going to share my screen. Please do let me know if it works. Um, 1080p, 60fps. Okay. Can you guys see my screen? Cool. Okay. Can you still see my screen now? I can't actually. All right. Can you see my screen? It just went on to TikTok. Could everyone see that? Cool. Awesome. All right. We're going to go Facebook ad library. I can't actually see. Wait, maybe we can do this. Okay. I'm guessing you guys can see the recording on Discord as well. Can you guys see my screen right now? If you could just double check that. Is it all because I'm... Okay, I'm sure it's fine. Split screen. Awesome. Okay. So, first of all, we'll do product research. And then anything that we find, we can um, go ahead and uh, analyze the creative and do all that sort of stuff. Really hoping I'm not going to release anything by accident. So, really simple. We're just going to go 50% off. Because that's pretty much what I do every time. Can I move this across? No, I don't seem to be able to. Okay, cool. Okay, so filters, we're going to go in here. We're going to go active ads, videos. And then we're going to look at ads that have been running at least for five days. And then that should be good. There's loads of different keywords you can use. I'm pretty sure I've put the key a keyword sheet somewhere in the Discord. But yeah, this is what we're going for right now. Cool. Okay, we're just going to scroll and we're going to see if there's any good creative. Want to know the secret to long-term weight loss? I'm Coach Tamitha with Vibrant Life for Women. Okay, this is like a really interesting creative, isn't it? So obviously they've got the hook in the first three seconds. You want to know the secret to long-term weight loss? You want to know the secret to long-term weight loss. And it's just like an organic video of a woman just like chilling there. Is it a good hook? Probably. I think it's definitely been done before, but it's a one-minute long video. I'm Coach Tamitha with Vibrant Life for Women. Yeah, and you've probably just lost. They've probably, at this point, they've probably just lost a load of people. Like, who cares? You know, the visual's not very good. Stuff like that. So, I don't know, let's have a look. What are they doing? Free Facebook group for women 50 plus. <clears throat> okay, not that interesting. Let's keep going. <laughs> this product's been done so often. They've got a terrible, terrible copy. That's not getting anyone interested. Easily remove tartar and stains. It removes plaque buildup and tooth stains. Using gentle ultrasonic vibrations. Kills bad breath bacteria at the source. Okay, let me get rid of Discord. And then we'll just do Facebook ad library. It's kind of weird because now I can't see the chat. It's kind of annoying for me, but it's all good. Um, I wonder if I can open it on my phone or it's going to screw it up. Really hope this works. Okay, yeah, that screwed it up. Okay, that didn't work. Um, I want a way where I can see the chat at the same time. 
still work in progress here. Dual monitor, yeah, I know. I've got like two monitors arriving on Sunday, so we won't have this problem again. But just trying to think, trying to think how we can do this. Anyway, we'll just carry on going. Okay, so this product looks interesting. Obviously, it's been done so many times before. 381,000 rupee, how much is that? It's like. Uh, like 20 quid, 20 pounds, so like $30. For less than $30, prevent cavities right at home. So it's like a it's a proper simple website. And to be honest, the website isn't that important. Um, you can't see. Okay. Oh, maybe I can do it like this. Is that better? Yeah. Now you can just see this screen, can't you? You don't you don't see my face either. Have the chat on your phone. Yeah, I tried to do that, but then it connected to my phone, um, which is kind of annoying because obviously then I can't do the whole thing. But if you guys can see this, does this work? Is this good? Can you see this screen here? Is that all working? Works, okay. It's not ideal. We won't have this again, don't worry. Um, but yeah, let's just have a look. So let's have a look at that creative. Easily remove tartar and stains. It removes. So like in terms of the hook, easily remove tartar and stains. It's so broad. So when you're doing your, obviously you want to fully analyze your customer. Otherwise, you know, if you're talking to everyone, you're talking to no one. So let's um let's go let's just create a Google document. Can I not just create a document? Um, type online. I don't know, just fucking notes. Make notes online. No sign in. Okay, cool. So for this product right here, obviously there's a th few things we want to look at. The main thing that we want to focus on is who is the target audience um is the chat still working because i can't actually see cool awesome so for a product like this um we're listing okay good <laughs> i guess it's a good sign right um so let's look at this product here so the first thing i would probably do is go on google trends and just see a is this a product people even care about um, so what are the problems that it's solving like clean teeth or oh, we'll just go teeth cleaner and then we'll go United States past 12 months okay and then what I always do just because um, just to get a like a comparison okay we can see here it's not actually that big of a deal People don't care about it that much. But we can see here what are people looking at. Teeth whitening products. Okay, so maybe that would be like our hook. This is clearly a breakout thing that people actually care about. So instead of remove tartar from your hook, remove tartar from your teeth and stains, it would be this tool makes your teeth instantly brighter. Yeah, because that's obviously what people care about. Um, let's go to Amazon because looking at Amazon reviews is another really good way of understanding your customer. Because remember, we're trying to figure out who is, um, who is, our, who is our target audience. Because if we don't know who, who we're targeting, then we've got no idea. Uh, let's go United Kingdom, done. Well, what is the product? Is that just what they've called the product? Remove tartar in up to 14 days. It's a pretty shit name for a product, but we move. Teeth cleanser, yeah, that's a good one. I'll be amazed if it's not on Amazon. This looks like the same thing. Oh, that's a water flosser.
plaque remover. Yeah, nice. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's it. That looks like it. Okay, so what we want to do, I thought it is water. No, it's not. It's just, um... Easily remove tartar and stains. It's like just an electrical device. It removes plaque buildup and tooth stains. Using gentle ultrasonic vibrations. Kills bad breath bacteria at the source. With a dentist quality cleaning. From the comfort of your home. Click shop now. Yeah, don't worry. We're not, it's not like I'm saying let's test this product. I'm just like, it's a really good example to use. It cures sciatica. <laughs> to get yours while it's 50% off. But this ad is just so shit. Remove tartar and stains. It's so boring. I mean, it's got the classic Facebook music. Like, the visuals are terrible. Like, look at this visual. It's just a close up of a tooth. It's an animation. You know, like, who cares? No one cares about this. Um, and then. It removes plaque buildup. Like, you see that little, like, stains. second in there? Like, that little second from where it finishes. Stains. So the transition, you're just going to lose so many people. Like No one cares about this visual. It's a terrible visual. The, 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 what it should be, right? What the perfect hook would be. Let's go on TikTok. And then we'll go bad teeth. Like this. This would be our hook. We'd download that. We'll put it in the ad. And this would be... I don't know what the hook would be. Um... It's got to be something people care about. Okay, I've got some notes on good hooks, on how to write good hooks. So, what was it? Um, okay, so a really good way to do hooks is that's an instantly rejected ad. Oh, you reckon? Okay, well, we can find other ones, but um, so basically, what it would be if you a current state so if you have bad teeth or want to look better want whiter teeth and you want if you have bad teeth and you want to get to the dream state which is clean teeth in the next 24 hours right so there you've got your time frame what you need to do is try out this product so that's a really good way so this could be the current state then we go to the dream state of someone with really white teeth and we say time frame, and then we show the product. That's a really good way to do hooks. Um, there's other really good ways. So you wanna be basically going, what are the problems that people are dealing with that you can solve immediately? And then that's what you can do. So what we're gonna do, the Homozy framework works good for hooks. Yeah, it does, but if, if you're kind of doing what everyone else is doing, but again, like, if you guys think about it, when you really start actually putting a lot of effort into dropshipping, you realize there is not that much competition. Like, at all. I wonder if I can go full screen on this. No, I can't. Like, there, there is not that much competition. This is your competition. These guys have been running ads since the 9th of January, which means they might even be profitable. Um, okay, if someone could check out how many ads these guys are running, what's that? Where can I read about it? Just type in Alex Hormozy offer. Uh, actually, I'll get it up. Okay, fuck off. So we got the dream outcome, perceived likelihood of achievement divided by time delay, efforts and sacrifice. It's pretty simple. And this is like the value equation of what a customer thinks is valuable. Obviously, I think there's, there's actually a lot that's missed in it. You've got to add stuff in, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Anyway, we're getting off topic. The main thing that we want to be doing when we find a product is finding out the problems so that we can tackle them in the ads, tackle their objections. And the best way to do that is reviews. Uh, Life-changing, learn to use it for best results. It's easy to use, delivers thorough clean. This just looks like a fake ass review. I love it. Legitimate plaque removal for back of my teeth. Uh, nicely thought out kit. The only issue was that with instructions. So the instructions weren't clear, so maybe add more clear instructions. Obviously that's not like a really good problem to solve, but what we can do is just analyze all of it find the worst problems that like the most common problems and then solve them painless so that's obviously like an important thing um maybe something else we could talk about is like 
uh, no one really likes going to the dentist. Maybe we could go, if you hate going to the dentist, but you want cleaner teeth, you can do this. Maybe it's a money saving thing because going to the dentist is quite expensive. Then you can go, if you hate going to the dentist, you can get this. Uh, it will save you money. It will do this, yada, yada, yada. That's pretty much it. Um, but yeah, that's like a good example. Obviously, that product's super saturated, so we'll carry on going. Is this, a, is this helpful? Is there anything else that I need to be going over? Or am I just going, going too quickly? A lot of friends were talking about the... Um, if making the ads yourself, uh, would you, what would you use to make the voiceover? Uh, I use Eleven Labs. It's really good. You can, um, if you guys look in the, which section is it in? I think it's the app links, no, knowledge, free resources, app links. Yeah, okay. I'm going to put, if you guys want, you can join um, Spy Essentials. It's really good. And you get access to 11 labs as well as loads of other things. Yeah, I use Spire. Spire Essentials is amazing. And I think you get a discount if you use this link as well. And I get money. Uh, what, do you, what do you think about this product? 11 labs. Oh, it's only a dollar? Oh, I had no idea. Okay, this looks like VSL, doesn't it? It gets all the right spots that my therapist didn't. Four minute the long The trapezius ad. muscle is Fucking responsible hell. for posture and upper body. It gets all the right spots that my therapist didn't. So what this, this hook is, is they're going right to the dream state. So obviously they've identified that a problem is your therapist isn't getting the right spots. So then she's made an ad where it's like, this product gets all the right spots. It gets all the right spots that my therapist didn't. The trapezius muscle is responsible for posture and upper... It honestly blows my mind that people actually watch these ads. Like, I can't believe it, almost. Uh, let's click. Okay, they're going to a blog post. This is a really, like, effective... But, you know, like, it just fucking amazes me that someone's going to watch a four-minute-long ad and then they're going to go out and read this whole blog right <laughs> and you know the best bit about these is that when you you go to the you go to pay they almost always look so scammy i mean look how scammy this looks got some aliexpress fucking videos and photos just some random doctor like i bet if we <laughs> <coughs> uh, um, i bet if we um Let's do this. I wonder. Yeah, it's literally just it's literally just online. Like they just got this photo online, which is fucking brilliant. <laughs> oh mate, I love it. Um, but look how scammy this looks, bro. It's just uh, it just fucking blows my mind. How are people buying this? I just don't get it. I don't get it. Anyway, it works. Um, but what do I think of the product? I don't know. It's one of those products in it that's going to be high competition, and obviously it looks like they're doing quite well. But those products are kind of hard to sell. And you can't rip it either. You can't rip a VSL. VSL is not going to work if you just rip it. Um, it looks really crappy. There's no actual showing of the product. Yeah, we don't even know what they're doing. It is for pre sale of the product. Yeah. Bro, people watching 20 plus minutes. I saw an ad the other day for 35 minutes. Gem pages, blog posts. Has anyone ever used one of those and got it to work? Um, bro, it's a real doctor. What do you mean? <laughs> do you know what someone sent me the other day? I didn't even know you could do this. But you can um, you can just go on Fiverr and you can just hire doctors to talk about your product. Doctor. Oh, shit, I spelled that wrong. <laughs> wait, wait. This guy looks so trustworthy. Do you know what we could do? Do you know what we could do? We could hire him to do, like, something for Horizon. Should we ho hire him for Horizon assets? So whenever we have an announcement, this guy can do it. 
ten dollars. Oh, hello, Sam. I hope you're having a good day. Until now. <laughs> well, my name is Dr. Bummer, and I'm here to share your test results. <laughs> I'm afraid you've been diagnosed with a severe case of Phagetomosis Leukemia Inferno Virus 22. <laughs> In simple words, it means there's nothing I can do. But wait, there's a cure. Did you forget your girlfriend's birthday? <laughs> what is he talking about? Oh, God. I'm afraid BM5 is just $200. <laughs> Bro, look at this face. Tell me you don't trust this guy. Or should we get a girl to do it? Honestly, I'm like really tempted to do it now. $85. We might have to, Horizon Assets might have to invest. I swear he's not a doctor. Nah, bro, he's definitely not a doctor. Hey guys, I'm Lisa. Welcome to my medical spokesperson gig. If you need a talented and professional spokesperson for your medical video, you are in the right spot. She's actually good. This one's actually quite good. We've got all these different places we can go. Yeah, I like this one. But it's like eight times the price. Um, the doctors are online jobs, PS, like $3. They'll even say that your product is FDA approved. Wild. But if you're testing with these five reactors, you better have a winner. Otherwise, GG. Nah, don't worry, I'm not. But if I did, I mean, we were talking about this last AMA. If you're, if you're a person, right, so you, let's just say you've watched this entire video and then you go onto the website, right? So you've got a problem, you've got a pain problem. What is the first thing that people think of pain? They think of doctors. Now, if a doctor is telling you to go ahead and buy this product and that it works, as like a 50-year-old mum or whatever you are, what more validation do you need to buy the product than that? Literally none. Literally none. But yeah, that's hilarious. From the other mums, yeah, it's a social proof. But if we look at our website, uh, where's it gone? They had reviews at the bottom, like all these comments. And you can literally like Facebook comment generator. I, I'm not going to say that I've done this before, but I've done this before. How many products do you test per month? Not that many. I was testing like loads per month, but I don't do it anymore. I'm more focused on like the um, building a brand side of things at the minute. Where was it? Create Facebook comments. It's funny, like when I stopped up, stopped up early on YouTube, everyone thought I just stopped dropshipping. It's kind of funny. Where is, oh, here we go. So we could go um, Jeffrey Einstein. Anyway, you, you get the idea and then you can add it here and then you got a comment. Oh, all right, this is the wrong app, but it's the same sort of shit. And then you can just do exactly what they do. Um, but eventually the mums will catch on just like with every gimmick. Yeah, it's true, but you can make a lot of money in that kind of phase where they don't know. I've done it before with other products. Um, how many products do you test per month? I've already answered that. I've got a brand. Yeah, I've got two brands. How many stores are you running right now? Like three. Um, what app is that? It's just just type it in. I think it's because I'm in Indonesia that it's not coming up with the right link. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay. All right, let's carry on. These are sock shoes. Slip on like socks, protect like shoes, and feel like sweatpants on your feet. These are sock... That is actually a really good ad. I mean, it's such a simple product, you don't need much. And then they've got a terrible website. Honestly, with products, $40. Fucking hell. Are they making money? I'm going to put the link in the Discord. Um, can someone check out how many ads they've got running? Get back to me how long they've been running for. Because I can't do it, because I need to log in. That's been done. 
By the way, guys, if you want to know where I'm getting most of my information about creators these days and where I'm learning, this guy is awesome. It's man, man, do, man, do I love... He is so good. One ad. Okay, cool. Um, th this guy is just so good. He's so good. All right, let's carry on. Valentine's is coming up. This product does well every year, but only for like a couple people. Okay, this keyword is not good. Let's uh, let's change the filters. Yeah, four dollar cost of goods. They're making a lot of money. Home master tools. This looks very drop chippy and good. I mean, like, guys, when you think about these, okay, these guys are making money. This is your competition. This is a joke. And obviously, they can get away with it because I doubt anyone else is selling this product. Actually, I guess like it works, right? Like, I guess like a pro like this works. Like a creative like this, at least. Well, obviously it works. Like they know what they're doing, but you could definitely improve it. Um, literally just saw this home master tools like two hours ago. You fucked me. Sorry, bro. I mean, you still test it. There's only f 40 people in here. <coughs> Honestly, there was, um, you know, like... Bro, people don't take action as much as they do. Obviously, Horizon's a bit different. Like, people actually do work in here, but... You know, like, I could upload a YouTube video about one of my previous winners. I guarantee you there'll probably only be, like, two or three people that actually go and test it. Oh, shit. Mate, it's fine, honestly. No one's gonna... Alright, no one tests this product. Not that it would matter anyway, because, bro, Facebook's so big. The chances of anyone else actually testing this, even if all... Actually, if 40 people tested it, it matter, but... Honestly, it doesn't matter that much. What if I told- You shouldn't have said anything, bro. No one would have- No, no, it's not. <laughs> no one would have known anyway. This device literally saved my teeth. Okay, now, these guys- These guys have a good hook. And good visuals. This device literally saved my teeth. It removes nasty plaque buildup, which causes yellow teeth and bad breath. Get yours while it's 50% off. Yeah, it's so drop chippy though. They didn't. It's only a 10 second. Left. Easily. Okay, but it's good. This one's much better than the other one we saw earlier. Like they've got a good hook. The visuals are engaging. They've got. It's an engaging ad. So yeah, I like that one way better. You're wearing a new cologne. Yeah, I just got it. Why? Do you like it? Smells really good. Let's hurry up and get home. Okay, now this is a really good ad because obviously, like, guys, like the little sad guys that can't get girls and don't know how to talk to girls, they're always looking for some hack. Like, oh, what is it? You know, how do I talk to girls better? But, like, you got a pro like this, girls will instantly find you attractive. You know, that is the dream state right there. I don't know what the rest of this ad is. Yeah, I just got it. Why? Do I get it? Say no more. What's that? Can you smell? Yeah, so all, all, all they literally have to do is just pay these influencers like $100 to make these videos or $50 or whatever. Um, and, you know, they just put loads of these in a row and that's literally all they have to do. <laughs> and people are going to buy it. Guys, Facebook ads and dropshipping is not that difficult. The creative is the main thing. And then if you have a good website, that just work, that just helps even more. Like, look at this. Are you guys telling me you couldn't make a page like this? You definitely could. You definitely could. All you need to do is make a bit of money in the beginning. I'm not going to say you should rip content, but... Make a bit of money in the beginning, however you can, and then um, get content. And it's pretty much that simple. You just need testimonials. Testimonials are the main thing. And you can just brand the content and you just sort it.
like the content I've got arriving, I think it's either today or tomorrow. Um, there's literally only one other competitor, and my content's going to be way better than his. So, you know, just like that, you can take over a market because Facebook is always going to go for the is always going to favor the advertiser with the better customer experience, the better content, that sort of stuff. Just before you know, before I watch this, I'm gonna it's gonna be like a full on review. Um, you can increase immune function, you can increase performance, you can increase your brain function, you can increase your liver, your kidney, your entire pancreatic system. Who's this ad for? That would be the main thing. Like, You can increase immune function. You can so instead of saying you increase your immune function, I would say what is that actually going to do? Like in your day-to-day -day life, how is that actually going to improve the person's life? So instead of that, instead of saying your immune function will improve, I'd say something like, you won't have to have a, you won't sneeze as much you won't have allergies this will fix your what's that condition people get in the summertime where they can't like breathe and shit like because of flowers and pollen fuck what's that called if anyone knows what that's called put it in the chat hay fever yeah uh <laughs> condition um yeah just say it fixes hay fever sorted um that sort of stuff you can increase performance, you can increase your brain function, you can increase your liver, your kidney, your entire pancreatic system, lead your body performing at its peak, and hydrogen is going to do that within an hour. I hate the, no, I don't hate it, but the, um, the captions, they're not very engaging. You can increase immune function, you can increase performance, you can increase your brain function, you can increase your liver. And that right there, it's not a very good, um, visual to have. Like the visuals in here. Not, you can increase immune function, so you can increase performance, you can increase your brain function, you can increase your liver, your kidney, your entire pancreatic system, lead your body performing at its peak, and hydrogen is going to do that within an hour. And the okay, that's quite good. I'll start with Andrew Huberman though, he's like a well, a much better known face. The bad news is, much if not all tap water contains things that are bad for... The okay, so what you want to do, the first thing, what visuals, so like what's on the screen? So like, uh, where was it? It's just a picture of a skull, like that. It's just, it's not that engaging, is it? Um, so if you want to sell a product like that, firstly, all right, I want you guys to type in chat and answer these questions for me, for the hydrogen water bottle. So is it gonna be men or women? Everyone type what, we're gonna, we're gonna figure out who's gonna buy this product. Everyone's saying both, mainly women. Yeah, I could see it being both. I could definitely see it being both. Okay, then ages. Is it going to be, um, you know, like 18 to 25, 25 to 35, 35 to 45, 55 to 65? What do you think? 30 plus? Yeah. what the most gullible age is, 28 plus, 30 plus, 25 to 35, 30 plus, yeah, the older, the more gullible, yes, that's very true, okay, so now we know, okay, it's, it's a broad product, right, like, pretty much anyone would buy this, so then we need to think about a specific thing, where people need more hydrogen. So it's probably sports, right? Or some sort of condition. Um, what condition gives you a lack of hydrogen? Scurvy. <laughs> yeah, so we could advertise this to sailors and make a load of money. Are you a sailor with scurvy? Buy our water bottle. Yeah. Um, Okay, so here's the symptoms of hydrogen, uh, whatever, disability or whatever. Um, appetite, so we could say this water bottle helps you lose weight. I guess that's an angle. Dry wrinkled skin, so maybe we go after women aged 35 to 65 and say this will cure sciatica. <laughs> Bro always puts that in. But we could say 35 to 55, you know, that could be our target audience for women. Um, arthritis, you know, again, sciatica, I guess. 
Um, there's, there's so many different angles to this. It's such a broad product. I don't really like selling products that are that broad. I like to have a clear target market, you know. Um, and that's what I would say on that product. So it's kind of difficult to figure out a target market for a product like that because it is so broad. Like everyone needs hydrogen in their body. But I guess if you were gonna go and go for the analysis, you would go after these things here. And you go after these specific types of people. You wanna build a customer profile and a level of awareness because <clears throat> You know, if you're trying to sell a product to a cold audience that aren't even aware of the problem they have, you're going to have to you're gonna have to let them know that they even have a problem. Like, there's so much to do in just a single ad. Whereas if you find a pro problem that people are already aware of, right, like wrinkles, and then you go, and then they already, they maybe not know why they have wrinkles. You can, in three seconds, you can go, this is why you have wrinkles. This is the solution. But a product like this, you know, <clears throat> you've got a scientist talking for like two minutes about why it's good. You've got Andrew Human, you know, blabbing on. You've got this guy. <laughs> you know, like there's so much you have to do in one ad to convince them to buy it. It's just like I can't see it being worth it. Like there's a lot easier products out there. Um, I feel like if someone were to run that product now, they would have to make good creatives geared toward New Year's resolution because a lot of people now are saying that they're going to be healthier. Yeah, your angle is really important. Exactly. Your angle is so important. Older people, because they know the loss of feeling thirsty. Yeah, true. Older people are gullible. Yeah, it's you're not wrong. But then again, the thing about it is they are wise to it. They know people are kind of stupid. But like they they know that people are scammers. So you kind of got to do some stuff to differentiate yourself. So if everyone's running the same creative, right? If you just rip a creative that everyone's running, it's so unlikely it's going to do well. But in the beginning, I would recommend that you make your own creatives. Edit stuff together. Get really good at it. Watch this guy, Ethan Dobbins. He will teach you everything you need to know about making creative. And we'll go over it tomorrow. I might even show I might even make a creative just to show you. Maybe if someone adds the fiber doctor to that, it'll convert <laughs> or the Indian guy. <laughs> yeah. That's, yeah, probably. Um tomorrow I'm gonna wake up, do my product research, and I'm gonna see forty plus store of hydrogen water. <laughs> That's not ripped. How do you think hydro bottle creative is? No, I'm not saying that creative is ripped. I'm just saying if you rip creative, it's not going to work. It's unlikely to work unless there's only like one or two other people doing it. Tomorrow at the same time again, yeah. We'll, we'll, um, we'll cut this in about seven minutes or so, ten minutes. Um, okay, let's carry on going. Let's do some more product research. What was I doing the other day? I used a really good keyword that worked really well. I've completely forgotten what it was. By the way, um, I'm going to need the recording for this because the chat has been covering the video the whole time. Um, the creative cure. So, okay. Nice. Grow my hair out. So I got myself some hair extensions from Goo Goo Hair. The best part of it is that it's literally like you don't have any clips in because this is so thin. So it's not going to be showing the clips in your hair. What? It's mine. I grow my hair out. Mm. I feel like hair and stuff is not really something people buy online but then again i know nothing about it so if i was going to buy this or look into selling this product i would need to fully understand everything about wigs and all this shit because i know nothing about it i have so much hair the color actually blends super well i picked 20 i literally just saw these ads today with most of the clothes yeah let's change the keyword let's go um What would be a good keyword to use? Let's think. 
Guys, type in your keywords. Type in some keywords I should use. Let's try some weird ones. Um, I'm trying to think. Get yours. Wait, let me check. Oh, I'll tell you what we can do. Sale ends today. Yeah, I guess that's a good one. Josh, you want to come on stage? You can if you want. No pressure. All right, let's go with this. I've used this before and it works really well. While stock lasts, before we run out, pain relief, Black Friday sale. Okay, this emoji is not working. Before we run out, it's like, it's pretty specific, isn't it? Active ads. By the way, I've got a YouTube video coming out tonight. It's not dropshipping related. It's more just um, like 2023, just summing it up and then 20 going for 2024. Um, what the plan is. But this product is coming up so much. But yeah, video coming out. It's only like three minutes long. Hydrogen bottle, my go-to for- Oh my God, what the fuck is it with these hydrogen bottles? Do they actually make money? Do they? Six signs of neuropathy or via cells. Bro, Facebook ad library is so dead today. Watch this. Magic happens. I'll never get my hair done again. Whoa! What what the fuck? What if I told you I found a product that will help you age backwards? This is my before. What's via cells? I don't know the specific term, but it's like a four minute long ad. Like this. This is a VSL. Yeah, if you watch Ethan Dobbins' video, he talks about someone. He saw that in Amazon reviews that the people were commenting that they use it for their dogs. So obviously, someone's watched that video and then they've gone ahead and tested it out. Guys, the best products to sell are the ones that no one's selling. Honestly, like, AliExpress is a really good tool to use. I've been doing some product research on AliExpress recently. Because you can just find products that no one's actually selling. If you're selling products everyone's ever, everyone else is selling, it's pretty unlikely you're going to do well with it. Kind of got to think outside the box. My brother just texted me. Right, I've got to have a meeting tomorrow. Um, yeah, honestly, this is like a really good way to do it. AliExpress. Bro, did anyone actually run these in, um, in summertime? Because I saw loads of people running. Did anyone actually do well with it? Because I didn't do it. I tried these products. They didn't work. Uh, let's keep going. Do you test products that already work or do you bring new products to the market? Um, this is literally what I do. If I'm bored of Facebook ad library, this is what I'll do. I'll go, okay, do I want to target men or women? Let's go for women. Then what ages do I want to do? So it's 18 to 25. 25 to 30. This is honestly how I do it. 35 to 45. 45 to 55. 55 to 65. 65 plus. Okay. So I'm going to go women, 35 to 45. And then what we're going to do is we'll go chat GPT. Oh, is it going to make me log in? I'll be so long if it does. Yep. Fuck's sakes. 
Um, so yeah, then I'll go and chat GPT and I'll go, what are some health problems or beauty problems or what what sort of interest do these people have? Women aged 35 to 65, I'd get a long list. So, you know, like for example, weight loss, um, money, let's, let's think. Maybe they're having marriage problems. Maybe they've got pain and foot pain. Maybe they've got wrinkles, right? All these sorts of things. There's so many to choose from. And then I'll literally, let's just type in, I don't know, let's go wrinkles. Let's see if there's any new wrinkle products because I haven't typed this one in in a while. And then we'll type that in, go wrinkles. Hang on, then look, we've got a load of products we can choose from. Um, I could actually do a case study about this product. I wasn't going to say it, but I did run this up. Not this exact one, I ran up a different one, but... Um, do you test products that are already working? Yeah, I've already answered that. Bring a test right now for completely new product which no one tried, went to source content. Amazing. That's a great idea. I love that. You know how to get around the ad library, temporary block. Recently, I've been able to scroll for more than two minutes. I tried to have Tim Browns and Cogniton. Other options, you know, any solutions? Not really, to be honest. I didn't even know that was a thing. What do you think about these ads? This is how I erase 10. Eight minutes long. <clears throat> That's so wild, man. It's amazing that these work. There's so many people doing them. This is how I erased 10 years of stabbing pain from my degenerative discs in seven days with this revolutionary technology. Yeah, it's a good hook, isn't it? This is how I erased 10 years of stabbing pain from my degenerative... Like they've got a new visual every like half a second. This is how I raised 10 years of stabbing pain from my degenerative discs. So obviously, think about the level of awareness, right? The, the, this ad is for people who already know the problem. They are problem aware, maybe they're not solution aware. So they know they've got degenerative discs, whatever the fuck that is. Um, and then they're providing the solution, you know? And you know, they're using very emotive language. Erased, just like gone. Stabbing pain. Like you can imagine, imagine being stabbed, right? That stabbing pain, you know, that's what they're doing. They're fucking clever bastards. The sciatica scandal. Sciatica is a leading cause of permanent nerve damage. Learn what the sciatica hoax is and why it's trend. God, that is disgusting. Oh, fucking hell, that's grim. Yeah, I've got no idea how it doesn't get banned. I don't want to watch that shit. Guys, I just gotta share. Look, this is the exact product I just saw on AliExpress. Anyway, let's carry on. Um, so we're looking for wrinkle products. So anything that's kind of new. All these are old, 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 old. All these are old. But yeah, that's pretty much how I'm doing product research like I'm taking a lot more time like there's a product I've got right now that I'm running into a brand I've literally spent the last like week or two doing it all right it's nine o'clock this coffee's starting to wear off and I feel knackered yeah it's a really popular product I ran it up on Facebook last year um, he's talking about where is it? This one. Really popular product. I'm to start that one. Next. It's such a good product because if you lo actually look into it, right? Like red light therapy. Um, does red light therapy help? with wrinkles yeah it like if you type that in it works you know and then you can link all of these things in you that your ad copy or your website and prove that it works there's all these studies and shit um you know it's a great example like th light therapy but it's too late to do any light therapy products it's 2020 2024 now guys just too late um, but like, if you were to test this, good idea. 
How early would you run a product you test into in your brand? What do you mean? How early on would you turn a product you test into a brand? Oh, uh, into a brand? Honestly, like a brand is just like a, it's not even real. It's just like a, it's like a fake thing. It doesn't even exist. Like to brand a product. The only thing that matters in dropshipping is getting the initial customer. That's all that matters. Lifetime customer value is not that important unless you're really building a proper brand like Udi where you're developing your own products and you're making new products and your email list is where you make loads of money. Dropshipping, it's just like the first initial customer is the main one that matters. So does it really matter to have like branded packaging and shit? No, but having a nice logo on your website, that sort of stuff, that's like a brand. And then, you know, if you want custom content, I guess you could do that. All right, I think I'm going to end it here. I hope this uh, I hope this was helpful. Oh, fuck. Jeez, 8 a.m., I need another coffee, man. Oh. Um... How do you make a good ad copy? By understanding the customer. If you understand who your target audience is on a really high level, ad copy and stuff like that, like if you're struggling to figure out benefits of your product, you do not know enough about your customer, okay? Tomorrow is the other AMA, right? Yeah, I fucked up the day, so we're gonna have another one tomorrow. That, I mean, this was like a day before. I didn't even really announce this one. Um, and there's 35 people in here, which is pretty cool. All right, I'm going to end it here because I've got a load of work to do today and I've got a